Hostiles on the perimeter! Get on that gun! Or the casualties. They haven't brought in many more wounded. That's something. How are you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. All those little blue children will be disappointed I didn't have a speech. We'll make up a good story for them. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. What kind of gift? Do you remember when I first joined my consciousness to yours? I can show you some of my own memories. Asari exchanged them sometimes, with good friends, or their bondmates. It can also be a way to say farewell. Show me. Close your eyes. Let's do what needs to be done. What's his condition? The bleeding. There's a lot of blood. His leg was blown off by the knee. Okay. I now try to stay calm. I'm just a civilian. We're out of Medigel, and your surgeon got killed by a reaper. I don't know how to do this. I'll talk you through it. You're his only hope right now. The most important thing is to stop the bleeding. How? Do you have any towels or bandages? No, nothing. Or put something under a bombed out highway. Then use your shirt. Tear off one of your sleeves and... Wait. Something's coming away. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. It passes by. You need to tear off your sleeve into strips. You're going to make a tourniquet. All right. Hold on. Now wrap that just above his knee to cut off the blood flow. Tie it off in a knot. I'm trying. Okay? Around his knee. No, I can't get it tight enough. There's so much blood. Try it again. Pull tighter.
What's his condition? Stay with him. If the bleeding starts again, let me know. You're going to make it. When the Rack Nine laid waste to the galaxy 2,000 years ago, when all seemed lost and the end was near, one word delivered the killer blow. One word beat the monsters back to the abyss. And one word brought death to an enemy none dared fight. That word was Krogan! And today, the Krogan rise again. Today, we forge a new path and join the galaxy as allies in victory. Today, we win our future! Shepard, you did it. No matter what else happens today, you did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. Oh, and Bakara sends her regards. She's already pregnant. There are benefits to being a clan leader. But she keeps insisting we name the first one Morden. Anyway, let's get to it. I meant to tell you, Shepard. Earth reminds me of home. Guess you'll be needing a new planet, too. That's okay. Your chunk has got room to spare. And a guard dog named Kalros. We're ready, Shepard. Say the word. This is a Solarian movie. Commander. Was it this bad in your time? Worse. I have been listening to the Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. You came a long way, Javik. Further than anyone else here. And I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. Well, no pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. I know. I've had to make a lot of those. There may be more. But I know you will see this through for all of us, no matter the cost. If we actually pull this off, what'll you do afterwards? Seeing the past again in the Echo Shard, the faces of my men, I will go to the Cronian Nebula, and I will find their graves. I will put their ghosts to rest, and then I will join them. You mean... It is as it should be, Commander. The last Protean voice has spoken. There is no more left to say. Here. This shard is now yours. Add to it. The progeny of this cycle will study it. They will know this was the day when the Reapers were no more. And that you were their conqueror. could circle around and flood it with reinforcements. Not likely. I spent three days in that center, trapped inside Big Ben, sniping in a It's a bloody death trap. Name me one place in this city that isn't. Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? I thought I'd be asking you that question. 
Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? You remember how you felt when you landed on Rannoch? Now imagine it's not a story passed down by your people. Imagine you were there just a few months ago. And now you're seeing it like this. We need to put it right. We will. Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you, Captain. It's been an honor, Talizora Vas Normandy. The Admirals once hung that ship name on me like a badge of shame. And then the Normandy helped us reclaim our homeworld. It's time I returned the favor. Shepard, I have a question. Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? The Reapers have the Citadel. They think they've won, and that's the best time to hit them. If they have spies or other intelligence, we could lose the element of surprise. In such a case, we will likely lose. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do, or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. Couldn't have put it better myself. Time to move out. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. Commander? Admiral? Just going over the sit rim. How's it look? Barely 50% of Hammer has reported in. Can we count on more making it? There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. I'll check on my team. We'll get going soon. I'll give the battalion leaders the heads up. We'll be ready as soon as you are. Whenever you're ready. Let's move before the Reapers realize what we're up to. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here, but now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no-man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here, if we get close enough. We've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us, but there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Yeah! Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. <laughs> 